Okay, let's look at gold. Let's look at what's called a failure trade, guys. If you recognize this, it's a very, very, very neat trade uh, by trading just order flow. Okay, let's say that you have support here, market profile. I want to mark it down. This is what it was. We had a possible retest long here at HBA before HBA moved. HBA moved on us. We had a retest of HBA somewhere in here. It was right about here. So this line over here on the on the black chart was a breakout retest. It moved up to us a little bit. But so the normal trade would be a breakout a retest. Long, right? ABC long. We would wait for positive market delta, and then we would try to get long this position right here. So your entry on the fill would be the high of this bar, or the open of the next bar, which is the high of this bar. So right around 54.80 was the fill. What happens with all trades with market profile is this. Market profile says you should bounce off that level. In market delta, which shows the order flow, this great chart, you should see four bars in a row to indicate that you are, they're trying to mark the market up. Here's our last crude trade. We had a buy signal down here in crude that I marked up at 22. 2022, I said, was support. Right down here was our control point, right? Our control point was at 22. So that's going to be major support off of our sending triangle. Look at the difference in trades. This is a trade where it retests and we got a long signal. Here's your long signal right there. Look at the bars. One, two, three, four. I count starting from the beginning when it turns green. They're marking the market up. Four green bars in a row to mark the market up. That is a great scenario that you have a nice long position in the market to hold your runner. The difference in this that happened on crude and this on gold, gold was a failure trade. Look how it turned green on the first bar, the second bar, but the third bar closed red. If it closes red within four bars, counting the first bar, take a small loss, look to reverse your position because they're probably going to try to mark the market in the opposite direction of the breakout. It's called a failed breakout. Larry Williams uh, calls it an oops pattern where they try to break it, retest it, and they fail it. I call it a breakout retest failure. A lot of traders call it different things. But this is where it tries to come down, it tries to go, but then it reverses. So if you notice on our crude trade, the last crude trade that I said 2022 is major support off of our trend line and off of our control point, most volume is trader, the line was right there, is that notice the difference. Look at one, two, three, four green bars. They're marking the market up, right? That's a good one to hold. If you look over here, it broke out. We broke through HVA, high value area. We broke through high value. It retested high value. It gave us a nice 130. That's a big buy imbalance. I mean, beautiful buy imbalance. Green bar, you open the position up at 80. It closes a nice little green bar again to give us, they're trying to mark the market up. But then this guy says, hey, you better heads up. This is, this is how internals work. This is why trading the inside the market, this is what makes you smarter than the average trader. Because we're looking at the inside. The inside the market says, hey, it closed red. That's within four bars from the beginning. They're going to try to mark the market down. Take a small loss. Take a small loss. Short the market. Stop loss two ticks above the swing high. You are now short here. At 54.20, take a six tick loss, small loss on gold. Get short the market. Anywhere from 54 to 54.20. She gets down almost as low as 51. You just had a $300 trade per one contract, and you take a $60 loss, approximately, depending on your slippage. So that's how you can turn a losing breakout into a profitable ending because it failed right at market profile. That's the difference between trading lagging and leading indicators. This told us possible failure. You got to get out.
So you short the other side and look how they mark the market down. Now crude, it worked opposite, right? It worked perfect. On, on the perfect case scenario, you want it to work out like this every time, right? You want to say, hey, come on, come down here, retest my control point, green, and let's go. That's just perfect. It's textbook. It just shot straight up on us on that dual support level that we had. And that was where our Fibonacci dots were too. That's just an ideal trade on crude, the last trade right there. Which is gorgeous. But sometimes they're going to catch these rolling position traders and they're going to try to take him to the woodshed. But if you're smarter than your average opponent, which we are, we know what to do if it flips. We know within four bars, they're not trying to mark the market up. If it closes red, they're going to try to mark the market down. And there you are. So within two trades, you just made not only your small stop back, you are in the money by a couple hundred, just over a couple hundred bucks per one contract. So this is what we want all the time that happened on crude. Came down to my projected support, 2022, I said was major support. Had major market delta. That's what we want. But what happens if it doesn't do what exactly we want, right? The market's its own animal. We can't control the market. We can only go and ride the coattails what the market tells us what to do. If it comes down for a retest and it closes green, it better be green, 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 four greens to get it running. If it doesn't, flip it, there you go, all right? That's called a failed breakout. Failed breakout, how to trade a failed breakout. How to, how, and even how to trade a failed support or resistance level on market profile. 